Hello children. Let us do a new topic in grammar today. Collective nouns. Can you see groups of animals or birds on the screen? Yes. You can see a group of bees, a group of birds, a group of cows, a group of lions, right? What is the meaning of group? Group is a collection. In English, we have a special name given to a collection of persons, things or animals. We call it a collective noun. So, a collective noun is the name of a collection of persons, things or animals taken together and spoken as one. Now, on the screen, can you see a group of lions? Yes, there is a special name for this group of lions. Okay, so this group is called a pride. So, pride is the collective noun for a group of lions. Got it children? A collective noun may be a singular or a plural noun. Now look at the picture here. It is a pride of lions. We can see only one pride, that is one group, in which there are many lions. Okay, so here the pride is singular. Alright, now look here, we have two prides of lions, that is two groups of lions. In each group, there are many lions. Okay, and there are two prides of lions. Got it? So here... Prides is plural. Did you understand? So, a collective noun may be singular or plural. But inside the group, there may be many persons, things or animals. Okay? Alright children, now let us see some more examples of collective nouns. A swarm of bees. A group of bees is called a swarm. Now let us see a sentence. A swarm of bees came buzzing by. A flock of birds. A group of birds is called a flock. A flock of birds was flying in the sky. A pack of dogs. A group of dogs is called a pack. A pack of dogs was sitting on the road. A herd of cows. A group of cows is called a herd. A herd of cows was grazing in the fields. A bunch of flowers. A group of flowers is called a bunch. But when we arrange this bunch beautifully, it is called a bouquet. Now look at these sentences. We plucked a bunch of flowers from the garden. Next sentence. We gave a bouquet of flowers to mother for her birthday. So did you understand? A bunch is just a collection of flowers, whereas a bouquet is a beautifully arranged bunch of flowers. Did you know? A group of grapes is also called a bunch. So this is a bunch of grapes. See the sentence? This bunch of grapes is very sweet. Now. A group of keys is also called a bunch. My bunch of keys is missing. Do you see a group of cute little puppies here? Do you know what their group is called? A litter. A litter of puppies. Now see the sentence. This litter of puppies looks adorable. And guess what? 
a group of kittens is also called a litter a litter of kittens the cat gave birth to a litter of kittens all right children do you know what a group of soldiers are called right an army of soldiers now see the sentence an army of soldiers fought bravely a group of players is called a team a team of players the team of players practice daily a group of cars is called a fleet a fleet of cars followed the president's car a collection of ships is also called a fleet a fleet of ships was sailing in the sea a collection of fish is called a school or a shoal of fish the school of fish swam with glee a collection of sticks is called a bundle of sticks the children brought a bundle of sticks from the woods a collection of pupils or students is called a class the class of pupils listened attentively while the teacher taught now a collection of books is called a pile of books when the books are arranged as shown in the picture one on top of the other and when we keep the books in a library it is called a library of books a group of musicians is called a band a band of musicians the band of musicians played a lively tune and do you know what a group of people is called a crowd a crowd of people the crowd cheered loudly for their favorite team all right children we have seen a lot of examples of collective nouns now let us do some revision look at this mix up a flock of bees a swarm of birds a bunch of sticks a bundle of geese something is wrong here isn't it can you tell the correct collective nouns your time starts now let's see a swarm of bees a flock of birds a bundle of sticks a bunch of keys now this seems right very good children let's read the mix up here a class of musicians a band of people a army of pupils a crowd of players and team of soldiers there's definitely something wrong here shall we correct it let's see the correct answers a band of musicians a crowd of people a class of pupils a team of players an army of soldiers did you get it right very good now here children match the pictures with the correct collective noun we have a group of cows dogs lions and kittens do you remember what their collective nouns are
a herd of cows a litter of kittens a pride of lions and a pack of dogs excellent work children so now let us revise what are collective nouns a collection of persons things or animals taken together and spoken as one is called a collective noun a collective noun is a common noun when a collective noun refers to a single group of animals persons or things it is singular even though the number of animals persons or things in the group are many did you get it so a pride is a collective noun there may be many lions in a pride but the pride is singular word i hope you have all understood what collective nouns are you can go through the video again and revise the names for the different groups or collections of different persons things or animals next time i'll be back with another video till then children stay safe stay healthy good day children